You just received your MyTime PayWise POSE terminal and you're ready to start taking payments like a pro. Let's get you set up. Start with unboxing your terminal and accessories. You should have a WISE POSE terminal, a battery, a charging cable, and charger. You might also have a dock, which we will set up later in this tutorial. You will need to be connected to the internet to update and register your new terminal. To open the back of your terminal, lift the indentation on the bottom left corner and detach the back cover. To install the battery, insert it into the terminal with the warning label facing up. Replace the back cover and press firmly on the bottom corners to close. To power up your terminal, you will need to press and hold the power button on the right side of the device. Your terminal should start booting up with a blue screen, if it does not, then the battery might not have a charge. To charge your terminal, plug the round end of the USB-DC charging cable into the right side of the device, and then plug the USB end into the provided wall charger. Make sure you plug it into the charging port on the right side, and not the headphone jack on the left. Next you will be prompted to connect your terminal to your network. Tap the connect Wi-Fi button, select the name of your network, and follow the prompts to complete the connection. Your terminal will likely need to be updated. Tap on the update button. Next you will be prompted to select your language and the country where this device will be used. Any updates will be automatically applied to your terminal. This should take a few minutes. While your terminal is updating, let's set up your terminal dock. Start by unwrapping your USB-C charger, and plugging the USB-C end into the port underneath the dock. Then you'll need to slide the plug adapter into the charger, or if using the USB-C to USB-A cord, you will need to plug the USB-A end into the USB wall charger. Now it's time to pair your new terminal with your MyTime account. First, log into your account. Once logged in, Navigate to the business setup page located under your name in the top right. Select the settings tab and scroll down to the POS section. Scroll a bit further and you will find payment terminal management. From the drop down, select the location where this terminal will be used. Click add payment terminal and a form should pop up. Select the terminal model from the drop down. Your device will have generated a unique registration code which you will need to enter next to secret phrase. Name the terminal and click save. Refresh your browser and your terminal should now be registered at this location. Your terminal may need a few minutes to update and confirm it's registered. Now you should run a test transaction to ensure your reader is functioning properly. Navigate to POS and create a new ticket. Select the relevant location, then select the new device from the terminal options in the top right. Under products, select miscellaneous charge and name it test and set the amount to 50 cents. Click the add button below to add it to the ticket. Select the Take Payment button to proceed to the payment screen. Select the Swipe Card button, and a pop-up will appear. Choose the new card reader from the drop-down menu. You'll be prompted to complete the payment on the card reader. Your reader will be automatically saved and selected for future transactions. At the end of each day your card transactions will automatically be paid out to your bank. To view your payouts each day go to the Payment Dashboard Report, this report will reconcile with the deposits received in your bank. To view individual transactions go to the Payment and Dispute Report. Here you can filter payments by location, amount, date, and status. You can also action and track any disputed or fraudulent payments directly from the report. If you're unable to add a terminal, it might be because this location does not yet have a bank account associated with it. To add a bank account, Simply navigate to the Payments tab and look for How Should MyTime Pay You for Services in the Getting Paid section. Select the applicable location, and click the Add Bank Account button to enter the correct information. Additionally, you can find your Stripe Merchant Account number listed here. If you need any assistance with the setup, you can visit our Help Center and check out the StripeWise POSE Terminal Setup Guide. Alternatively, feel free to reach out to support for further assistance. Now you're all set. It's time to get booked, get paid, and get growing.